A warm greeting, today is Sunday, September 24, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video, we will be discussing various disturbances in Tropical Storm Philippe. First, I will talk about the disturbance currently located in the Gulf of Mexico region, which has a low probability of cyclonic development over the next few days as it moves over the Gulf of Mexico waters. Additionally, I will provide an update on the forecast for Tropical Storm Philippe, which continues to move west-northwest. Although it does not pose a threat to the Caribbean region, we will discuss the significant uncertainty regarding its future path, whether it will move towards the North Atlantic waters or if it dissipates and the remnants move a little further to the west, this would have significant implications for the future path of what is now Invest 91. In fact, Invest 91 has a high probability of becoming a tropical depression as it moves west-northwest. Take a look at the latest tropical outlook from the National Hurricane Center at 8 p.m. They maintain a 10% chance of development for a trough currently located northeast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Additionally, we have Tropical Storm Philippe and Invest 91 at a very low latitude. The National Hurricane Center has increased the development probability to 70% as it moves west-northwest. Remember that this is the potential development area for a tropical cyclone, so there is still some uncertainty about how far west it might travel. We will discuss this further later on. Let's look at the infrared satellite animation of the Gulf of Mexico region. Here we have a trough system that remains disorganized at the moment, with extremely low development probabilities. By midweek, the wind shear will increase significantly, reducing the development opportunity. We do not anticipate significant organization of this system. However, by the end of the week, we will monitor the Western Caribbean region as the GFS model continues to predict the possibility of a weak low-pressure system that could find conditions favorable for cyclonic development as it moves north-northeast. We also see that about 10% of the GFS model ensemble members predict the development of a low-pressure system in this area, although the development probabilities are extremely low. We will keep an eye on this in case the forecast changes. The important thing is that the other models do not currently predict development, only the GFS model. Now let's talk about Tropical Storm Philippe, which continues its path over the tropical Atlantic waters. It continues to battle strong wind shear from the southwest and west, which has kept the heaviest rainfall activity displaced to the right or east of the circulation center. Today, the circulation center has repositioned a bit further to the east, which is good news for the Caribbean region as it helps maintain a path away from the area. While we know that Tropical Storm Philippe will pass far from the Caribbean, there is still some uncertainty about how far west it might travel or whether it will take a sharp turn to the north and northeast. In other words, there is long-term uncertainty about the exact location of this tropical cyclone. The important thing here is not just monitoring tropical storm Philippe in the Caribbean but also that the location of the circulation center by the end of the week could have a significant impact on the future path of Invest 91. In the track forecast from specialized models, you can see that there is a general consensus that, at least for the next three days, both Tropical Storm Philippe and Invest 91 will continue moving west-northwest. Afterward, from Wednesday onward, the models diverge between a rapid north-northeastward trajectory over open Atlantic waters, or a slightly more westward trajectory as shown by the European models. Regardless, you can see that it will pass far from the Caribbean region, so there is no need to worry about Tropical Storm Philippe posing a threat to the Caribbean. The lack of consensus in the long-term forecast is mentioned by the National Hurricane Center and is associated with the impact of wind shear on Tropical Storm Philippe. Some models predict a system that could become a strong tropical storm or hurricane, which would cause it to turn northward quickly, while others see the wind shear as strong enough to keep this cyclone quite weak, allowing it to travel further west, as the European models suggest. Overall, most intensity models predict that this disturbance will remain a tropical storm over the next five days, with some forecasting it to become a Category 1 hurricane, while others dissipate it into a low-pressure system. It will be important to see which model accurately predicts the intensity of Tropical Storm Philippe by next Thursday, which will give us a clearer idea of how far west it might travel or if it turns north, and what implications this will have for Invest 91 as it moves through this area. At least the National Hurricane Center maintains a west-northwest trajectory initially, at least until Tuesday morning. Afterward, it takes a more northwestward turn. This trajectory is essentially an average of the GFS model and the European model solutions. The National Hurricane Center confirms that there is a lot of uncertainty in this path because our two best models have quite different solutions. Following Tropical Storm Philippe, we are monitoring a tropical wave that is located quite far south, which has been designated as Invest 91. Although the models generally predict a similar trajectory to that of Tropical Storm Philippe, keeping it away from the Caribbean, there is still uncertainty in the long term because we don't yet know how much influence Tropical Storm Philippe will have on this future cyclone. 
remember that the stronger tropical storm Philippe remains, the further north it will move, and the greater the chances that Invest 91 will follow a similar path. If tropical storm Philippe remains very weak or dissipates, the chances of Invest 91 moving further west increase. Furthermore, the intensity forecast for Invest 91 has a lot of uncertainty, especially starting from Wednesday. Some models strengthen it into a strong tropical storm, while others keep it quite weak as it moves through the tropical Atlantic. This uncertainty we see in both Invest 91 and Tropical Storm Philippe is due to the high uncertainty in how strong the wind shear will be. Let's take a look at what the best global weather models say. Let's start with the American model, the GFS. You can see that the GFS model has been consistent in its recent runs in maintaining a north-northeastward trajectory for Tropical Storm Philippe. In fact, it strengthens this cyclone into a hurricane. Under this scenario shown by the GFS model, when Invest 91 develops, it will probably follow a very similar path to Tropical Storm Philippe and pass far from the Caribbean, posing no threat. On the other hand, the European model has a significantly different solution and has been changing its forecast slightly in recent runs. As Tropical Storm Philippe moves westward, the European model shows a much weaker system compared to the GFS model. Therefore, it maintains a more westward trajectory. By the end of the week, the European model essentially dissipates Tropical Storm Philippe. So by dissipating this cyclone, it allows Invest 91 to move further east. In fact, in today's afternoon forecast, it brings Invest 91 quite close to the eastern Caribbean, although it still keeps it passing to the northeast of the region. It is precisely this discrepancy that the National Hurricane Center mentions. While the European model dissipates Tropical Storm Philippe and keeps Invest 91 stronger and further west, we have the GFS model with a completely different solution with Tropical Storm Philippe strengthening into a hurricane and moving north in the Atlantic, while Invest 91 remains quite weak and follows a trajectory similar to that of Tropical Storm Philippe. What we need to do is wait and see which of these models is better at assimilating these disturbances. For now, I lean toward the GFS model's solution, and this is because the other global models are in agreement with this idea. For example, the Canadian model shows a northward trajectory for Tropical Storm Philippe and has Invest 91 also moving in the same direction. We also have the ICON model, which, while dissipating Tropical Storm Philippe and keeping it further west, shows Invest 91 taking a turn to the northwest, passing far from the Caribbean. Similarly, the UK model has Tropical Storm Philippe on a more westward trajectory, but it keeps Invest 91 moving northwest and well clear of the Caribbean. So, currently, the European model is the only one that brings Invest 91 this close, but because it is a good model, we will keep an eye on whether it remains consistent with this forecast or if any of the other models change their forecast. This difference between the forecasts can also be seen in the ensemble members of the GFS model. For next Saturday, they show a large spread in the possible location of Tropical Storm Philippe, but they all agree that Invest 91 should take a northwestward path far from the Caribbean. On the other hand, we have the ensemble members of the European model, with Tropical Storm Philippe much weaker and moving further west. However, Invest 91 has a better chance of moving on a slightly more westward trajectory and possibly passing near the northeastern Caribbean in the long term. Well, this forecast is certainly complicated. For now, it seems that the most likely scenario is that Tropical Storm Philippe will remain a tropical storm and then take a turn north-northeastward. Meanwhile, Invest 91 will probably follow a trajectory similar to that of Tropical Storm Philippe. However, I must acknowledge that we should remain vigilant about Invest 91 in case Tropical Storm Philippe dissipates and allows this future cyclone to move closer to the Caribbean region. The important thing is that there is currently no threat to the Caribbean or the rest of the Americas. You can rest assured. Just keep an eye on Invest 91. We will have many days to monitor its progress. Well, with that, I say goodbye. I hope you all have an excellent start to the week. I'll be back with a new update tomorrow afternoon or evening. Until then.